That is the real history of how the U.S. Department of Justice contended with these issues the last time they were confronted with something like this. I mean, here was a man who they, uh, 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 here was a man who fully expected himself to be the next president of the United States. The U.S. Justice Department also expected that he might be about to become the next president of the United States. But the Justice Department also had evidence that he had committed dozens of felonies. He went nuts about the fact they were investigating him. He threatened them nine ways to Sunday. He tried to shut down that investigation. He tried to bully them. He said he was going to come after them and turn the tables on them. But they did not back down. They confronted him with the evidence in court. And what happened? He pled. He pled to avoid jail. And they let him because he also agreed to leave public office. We have only ever done something like this once before as a country. And that's how we did it the last time. Now, does this mean that the Justice Department today is going to approach this the second time around, this time with Trump, uh, the same way they did with Agnew? We don't know. But the idea that Trump might plead, that he might negotiate to plead to something in exchange for lenience, that's something that's sort of generally being dismissed out of hand right now, when perhaps it shouldn't be. I mean, particularly if it looks like there's a chance of jail time that attends to these charges for him. Particularly if pleading guilty to something might be his only way to avoid jail time. The question of whether or not Trump's future eligibility for public office might be part of any such plea is something that everybody's afraid to touch with a 10-foot pole, I know. But we really have only ever done this once before. And that's the way we did it. We made his public office, his holding public office, part of the plea deal. That's the solution, the still controversial to this day solution that the Justice Department and the lawyers for the defendant came up with 50 years ago, the last time we were plagued with a problem this disgusting. And it's no use pretending that that isn't the relevant history here. It is. And I think we should not look that gift horse in the mouth. I think history is here to help.